Okay, Mark, 5-1 uh, win tonight. Uh, just give your thoughts initially on the game. I thought for the majority, the boys done really well. It's the first game in four weeks. So to put on what I thought was a very good performance, uh, scoring five goals, was great to see. Opening 15 minutes, or started the game really well, and then kind of you know, dropped their levels a wee bit. But finished off the end of the first half again, last five or two minutes, done very well. What you say them at the half time about their first half performance? We set out um, with a specific game plan, uh, with certain players um, playing in certain areas of the pitch, which we, we'd done really, really well for that first 10 minutes. They then went back to a bit of more been a wee bit of slackness because I'll put that down in the first game in four weeks. We spoke about it at half time, told them what they were doing really well for that first ten minutes and what they'd done really well for the last ten minutes and tried to emphasise and focusing on repeating that for the second half, which I thought they'd done really well. I kept the ball very well in the second half and then scored goal th three good goals at the very end. Obviously you must be very pleased with had five different scores tonight as well. Yeah, very pleased and to have two right backs scoring as well um, shows how well we've played all over the pitch. Carl Hamill scored the first goal, which was a smashing move from the back right through the midfield, um, ending with a great run by him and a, a great finish. Chrissy scored, come on for Carl, um, because he had a slight ankle knock, um, and Dunn made a smashing run for the, I think it was the fourth goal. Again, a good move down the left and great movement for him into the box. There's a lot of movement in this team, you know, off the ball, third man runs and stuff. Is that the sort of stuff you, you know, you're practising training? Yeah, we've been trying to drum that into them all, all year. Understanding that the game isn't a set structure. You always want to be in a set shape, but it doesn't always have to be the same players within that shape. So we focus a lot in interchanging and rotation and a lot of movement and one touch, one touch football. And as I said, it was great to see them put a lot of that into practice tonight because that was a challenge we set to them. We said it's a development league. They've had a, a year of development this year. So we said to them, we want to finish this season with four games, which means we get to the George Wilson final. So they stepped up to that challenge tonight and, and put into practice what they've, they've been doing uh, or what we've been working on all year. And the George Wilson Cup changed formats, you touched on that uh, last night briefly. Um, this win tonight obviously puts you into the quarter-final. You're only going to come up against teams that, you know, at your level, at the Premiership level, and the teams that are obviously going to want to win this George Wilson Cup. Glen Horner, one of them? We are definitely going to be one of them pushing for this Cup, but what happened last week showed it's not going to be easy for anybody. Linfield have um, won the league, the Stealing Sons won the final Intermediate Cup and yet they've gone to Loch Gall last week and got beat 2-1, so everybody's going to be out to try and win this, especially the, the teams in the, the two new development leagues there want to come up here and prove a point um, against the, the so-called bigger teams from the, the Premier League, so no, we know it's not going to be easy, but we're determined to um, finish this season, like I said, with four games, that's the first one tonight, so we're now targeting three more.